project update for Saturday. That pretty much looks about the same. But we got the router moved, we got the ready NAS moved, we got the Arlo moved, and we got the printer online. And everything is going great. Use my offer up cheap cables, made some custom ones. Everything's nicely labeled, feel good about that. I haven't quite fully tested to see if moving the router has actually improved my Wi-Fi signal, but I'm quite positive it's got to be better in a more open air environment than in that cubby hole up there. So the second project I told you all I was going to work on was this computer right here that I possibly have a MacBook Pro trade on. So. I was using that 500 watt power. By the way, this was all the equipment I pulled out of it. All, almost my server stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that now. These are good hard drives though. They're just loud. So that 500 watt power supply and this GPU power supply right there. That guy. Couldn't cut it. Um... The GPUs were not happy. I had constant crashing. Um, I was one card would operate and the other one wouldn't. So I finally broke down. Went to Fry's, picked up a Corsair CX 850M. I know for uh, 80 bucks, and it's been working great. Ever since I uh, upgraded that, but it does look better. I mean, it's nice having all the black cables, the black case, as opposed to. This power supply had all the, you know, colorful cables. I think it's a little bit more cleaner run. I did end up moving some fans around for airflow purposes, and I added a fan on the side. I know usually the side fans don't do a whole lot, but having two R9s in this small case, they were getting a little toasty, so it helped a few degrees, maybe two or three, but it's enough for me to feel comfortable now with it running. It was running at like 87, 85 to 87. Now it's like 82. Um, I think that's a good enough improvement. I know these GPUs uh, will start to um, tune themselves at like 95 and clock themselves down at 95 degrees Celsius. It wasn't even getting close to that, so I think this guy's going to have a good experience with this PC. And I ended up throwing in my Dell Ultra Sharp 2711 monitor because that's been sitting in the closet, and as you can probably tell by the dust it's been collecting over the years and then project number three update on this guy so problem number one I just told you about that RAM issue I was having with the Amazon marketplace seller J electronics well come to find out they actually didn't even have it in stock and finally replied to my email and they're gonna refund my money so I was like well that, that's kinda of terrible and it's getting harder to find that rip jaw memory for a good price at least a rip draw for quad channel so I was like I was just gonna throw the other two sticks in here run off six dims I know that's kind of gonna mess up the quad channel maybe um, but unfortunately I put them in and then Asus motherboard gave me a BD error so I took them out swapped them with these two sticks right here BD error so the sticks are bad so yay for that. So all the memory upgrade is not going to happen on this guy now. So I'm going to be sticking with the 16 gigs for now until further notice until I figure out what I want to do. Everything else did come in. We got our nice, uh, let's see if I can get this open. Nice sheathed power supply cables. It's going to look real nice in this case. We got our little LED strip. I don't mean in this case, this, this case is going away because, oops, we have that case, NZXT H700, kind of excited to open it, I was actually at Fry's today and they had the uh, white color variant, I got the red so I can match the rest of the, my case, and it, it looked really nice in person, um, I'm still a little concerned about fitment because it is advertised to fit up to a 10.7 inch EATX motherboard and well the Asus Rampage 5 is a 10.7 inch EATX motherboard so we'll find out all right well you know what I'm gonna cut this video off for now I'm gonna start building on the A700 oh I forgot to mention I am gonna be switching cases for the guy 
Anyway, he seemed pretty stoked about getting this NZXT case, which I can't blame him. This is a nice case. This is the uh, Source 530, and I'm replacing it. I'm going to swap everything out of this Cooler Master to this guy. I think it's going to be a lot better for him. All right. Until next time, catch you later.